What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to talk about sprint out times in the Modern Warfare beta. Now that I've had a proper opportunity to hop in and get some proper testing done, I did some initial tests in the 2v2 alpha, but as I stated in that video with those initial tests, I couldn't tell exactly which attachments were on the weapons and what was affecting the sprint out time and what wasn't. And also there wasn't as much room to do the testing in 2v2 because you're in the fight immediately. Whereas with the beta, I've been able to do some proper tests because we have really large maps and I can just hang out at the back of the map and do my testing. Now, I have been seeing quite a few complaints about sprint out and aim down sight times, and we will touch on aim down sight times a little bit as well here. And there's been a lot of people saying that they feel that these sprint out times are too slow in this game. So. I wanted to test that theory, and I'm going to be sharing those results with you today. I guess I should start this off by defining what sprint out time is, since anytime I make a video about it, there are several people that don't know what that means. Sprint out time is also known as your sprint to fire time in Call of Duty. This means as you're sprinting, if you press the button to fire your gun, sprint out time is the amount of delay between when you press the button and when your gun will actually go off. And this is a very important value that can really help dictate the pace of a game, because if you have a very long sprint out time, that means people are discouraged from sprinting around and therefore they end up playing the game at a slower pace. So hopefully that covers it for you guys that didn't understand. And let's just hop right into the numbers. Let's start off with the assault rifles. Keeping in mind, we have two different sprint out times for all of the guns. We have our regular sprint out time when you're using the normal sprint. Then we have the super sprint out time when you're using that super sprint. And of course, this is going to give you a noticeably longer sprint out time. So for the standard sprint out times for assault rifles, the M4A1 is 280 milliseconds, the AK-47 is 300 milliseconds, and the M13 is 280 milliseconds as well. As for our super sprint out times, for the M4A1 it's 400 milliseconds, AK-47 is 450 milliseconds, and the M13 is the same as the M4 at 400 milliseconds as well. Comparing this to the most recent Call of Duty game where generally people didn't have any complaints about sprint out time, Nearly all of the assault rifles in Black Ops 4 had a base sprint out time of 300 milliseconds. There was the one exception, which was the Vapor, which had a sprint out time of 250 milliseconds, but typically you would see 300 milliseconds. When we compare that to the assault rifles in Modern Warfare, you're actually seeing so far, based on the limited gums that we've had access to to test, we're actually seeing equal to or even slightly better sprint out times on average. However, the super sprint out time is of course very, very slow. 400 milliseconds or 450 milliseconds for an assault rifle is painfully slow, but many would argue it should be. That's the risk of using that super sprint feature, and I actually totally agree with that. I think super sprint should be something that's used very selectively, and there should definitely be a risk versus reward to doing that, and therefore I do think it is fair to have a pretty extreme sprint out time. Next up, let's have a look at the SMGs that we had access to in the beta. For the MP5, we had a base sprint out time of 160 milliseconds. Same thing goes with the MP7, this was 160 milliseconds. And the AUG was just slightly faster at 150 milliseconds. As for the super sprint out times for these, these are 300 milliseconds, 280 milliseconds, and 300 milliseconds respectively. Compare that to Black Ops 4, and in Black Ops 4 for SMGs, we had a range of sprint out times from 200 milliseconds up to 275 milliseconds for some of the slower ones, but on average it was roughly like 200 to 250 milliseconds for SMGs. This means, once again, in Modern Warfare, our base sprint out times are actually noticeably better than they were in Black Ops 4. However, once again, also, when you're super sprinting, you are going to be punished more for that, and your sprint out times will be noticeably higher. So finally, I want to look at the LMGs. I'm not going to get into every single one of the weapon classes, but with the LMGs here, in Modern Warfare, the M91 has a standard sprint out time of 350 milliseconds and a super sprint out time of 460 milliseconds. The SA87 is 280 milliseconds for the standard sprint out time and 480 for the super sprint out time. And that one was actually quite surprising because it does feel quite slow in the sprint out department, but that's actually the aim down sight time that you're really feeling there. Its actual sprint out time is actually faster than the AK-47. But once again, comparing that to Black Ops 4, our standard sprint out time for LMGs was roughly 350 milliseconds. So with Modern Warfare, once again, our sprint out times are equal to or even a little bit better than what we saw in Black Ops 4. So now for the big question, why are so many people complaining about sprint out times in Modern Warfare and why does it feel slower this time around? This is most likely due to several factors. First off, in Black Ops 4, we had access to the Gung Ho perk, which had a little trick to it. It did reduce your base sprint out times, but not by a really significant margin on a lot of guns. However, there was that little trick. If you broke your sprint by aiming down sight before firing your gun, 
your sprint out time would be completely eliminated. It would be an instant sprint out time. For many players, myself included, Gung Ho was an absolute crutch in public matches. I would use it 100% of the time, and I had that muscle memory down so that I never had to worry about sprint out times at all. As a result, I kind of grew accustomed to having no sprint out time. So then when you move into Modern Warfare, even though the base sprint out times are faster, that little trick that I used no longer works, and now it suddenly feels like it's a slow sprint out time, when in reality, it isn't. Now, I should also mention there is a way to speed up your sprint out time in Modern Warfare. This is with the stippled grip attachment. And with this, you actually cut your sprint out times down fairly considerably based on the guns that I've tested so far. So just as an example, with the MP5, your sprint out time goes from 160 milliseconds down to about 115 milliseconds. With the M4A1, it goes from 280 milliseconds down to 200 milliseconds. So you can see it's a pretty big reduction to sprint out time. And that's where I feel the second complaint might be coming in, where people haven't actually unlocked the stippled grip attachment, or they're not using it on their class setups, and therefore they're not getting the best possible sprint out time for that particular weapon. Now, another reason that I feel people are thinking that sprint out times are really slow is I think a lot of the times they're actually super sprinting rather than normal sprinting. Even if it's unintentional, maybe you didn't quite register the fact that you were using the super sprint feature at that particular moment. And in those cases, yeah, your sprint out time is significantly slower than your standard sprint out time would have been in any previous Call of Duty game. Like I said, though, I do think that's a fair compromise. I do think that's balanced quite well. But this just leaves us with the last reason that I feel people are having an issue with the sprint out time and it feels slower. And this is due to the fact that our aim down sight times feel slower in Modern Warfare. Now, the reason I say feel slower is based on my testing, you actually aim down sight in a pretty similar amount of time compared to something like Black Ops 4, for instance. However, I noticed something in my testing with aim down sight times. It turns out the animation actually extends past your official aim down sight time. Technically speaking, you can be fully aimed down sight, ready to fire your gun with perfect accuracy in the same sort of time that we're used to. However, for many of the guns, there are several frames of animation that occur after your gun is fully aimed down sight and accurate. Just as an example, for instance, here, at this moment here, you are technically fully aimed down sight, ready to fire. Your bullet will be perfectly accurate at the center of your screen. However, if we continue past that, you can see there are still several frames left on the animation to complete that aim down sight animation. This definitely gives the impression that the aim down sight time is slower than we're used to in Call of Duty, and I don't know why exactly they're doing this. Maybe it's just to show a more realistic look to your aim down sight speed, even though technically speaking, it's not any slower than we're used to. But in either case, I do feel like this is giving people a bad impression of the aim down sight times, and consequently the sprint out times as well, because a lot of people will break their sprint by aiming down sight, and therefore you're not going to be able to come out of sprint and be fully aimed down sight and ready to fire, as fast as you would typically be used to in Call of Duty. So that pretty much covers it for everything I wanted to mention in today's video. For anybody that's complaining about sprint out times, in all likelihood, that's not actually the issue that you're having. It's possible that you just need time to adjust from that little exploit that we had in Black Ops 4 with sprint out times. It's also very possible that what you're actually seeing is just a change in animation with the aim down sight time in Call of Duty. But with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about the results here? Were you surprised to see that the base sprint out times are actually a little bit faster than what we had in Black Ops 4? And also, what do you think about the fact that we do have those extremely slow sprint out times when it comes to using the super sprint? Do you think it should be as slow as it is, or do you think they should speed that up a little bit? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.